So, I'm in church this morning, and our church does one of the typical communion services, you know, where a guy goes around with a tray full of crackers, and another guy goes around with a with a tray full of grape juice, and they pass them out, and then everybody listens to the pastor recount the, um, uh, the Last Supper, so to speak, and then they all partake of the bread and the, the juice. And I'm watching as they're going around, and... Uh, the guy with the juice cups, you know, he's only got like four left and there's five people in the aisle. And uh, he passes the tray down and I notice the guy on the end, he he doesn't take his, his juice because if he did, uh, somebody would be left without. So he just kind of quietly says, no, no, that's okay. Just pass back the tray. And um, they go through the communion and everything happens as it was supposed to and the guy doesn't partake. And part of me thought, you know, gee, that's kind of crappy, you know, he didn't get to go along and do his communion. So I asked him about it later, and it was kind of cool, because he was like, well, no, you know, I get to take communion anytime I want, you know, it's just basically bread and wine. I can remember the Lord anytime I want, but to take it away from someone else, that wouldn't have been cool. And I thought about that, and it's uh, kind of a selfless move. And I think it really speaks to what we should be like as Christians. So I just wanted to share this, you know, because a lot of people take the communion and they uh, they view it as a must-do. You know, if it's being done in the church, they want to do it. They want to be participants in it, and I guess that's okay. You know, that's what they should want, but. I'd rather be the guy not doing it if it meant somebody else was going to go without for sake of him doing it. Now before I get emails and messages about how that's not really communion at all, you know, it's not really what Jesus did, I understand that, but no church is perfect, and if this is the worst thing that I can point out that my church does that's not quite accurate in accordance to Christ's life, well, hey, that's pretty good, considering... Uh, I love the church that I go to and the people that are there, and I'm very thankful to God for it. And watching something like that, I'm a little more thankful. I mean, he could have made a scene, and he could have, you know, demanded somebody go fill him up a juice cup. But instead he let it go, and let everybody do what they had to do, for their own conscience' sake. Well, until next time, happy Jesus Day, God bless, and peace out.